Many are in favor of the proposed measure to lower the qualifying age of senior citizens to 56. For them, it's better if one can enjoy the benefits that go with being a senior earlier rather than later on in life when sickness or old age has already robbed him or her of opportunities or the will to actually enjoy it. Karen Villanda tells us more. 53-year-old Lady Beth has been a street vendor for three years now. She hardly earns the money she pays for the bills. That's why she is worried that she can't make it to 60 years old. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Senate Bill No. 1572 of Senator Bong Revilla aims to amend Republic ACA No. 7432, lowering the senior citizenship age to 56 years old from the present 60 to avail of benefits much earlier. The senator said many Filipinos won't reach the age of 60, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic. Based on the data of the Department of Health, 7.33% of senior citizens died due to COVID-19, much higher than the 0.76% of those ages between 18 to 59 years old. Under the existing law, some of the benefits of senior citizens are 20% discount and VAT exemption on medicines, medical supplies, transportation fare, and hotel. 5% discount on electricity and water bills and others. But it is not specified in the bill if it will also change the compulsory retirement age of 65 for a senior citizen. According to Senior Citizen Partilis, an amendment to the law is needed that because the government will have a challenge to fund the social pensions. Kaya kung ibababa pa natin ng 56, uh, medyo siguro makikigit ng 200 billion yan. Yun nga lang uh, yung centenarian bill natin kapon pinag-usapan sa sa Horeto, 12 billion lang eh, medyo hesitant ang medyo nakakontra ang ano, ang uh, BBM. Karen Villanda for The Nation.